So I've heard of something called SIP guest joint. Mm -hmm. So I mostly understand SIP. <laughs> mostly, yeah. Uh, I understand how you <laughs> join over uh -huh. a SIP device. But you know, why is that a thing? Why is that a great feature with, that we bring to market? Yeah, very common question. SIP guest join, what does that really mean? What is that connected to? It's also called reversed reverse CBI from Microsoft. So if you hear that, that's the same thing. Uh, it's a feature set that's built into our CBI offering. So allowing you to leverage your CBI license for external meetings you've been invited to. Okay. So CBI obviously works within your domain. It can work for your internal license or your internal meetings that you have been invited to, but you, a third party, invite me to a Teams meeting, I can't leverage that, right? Mm -hmm. Now with SIP guest join, I can. So my license can be great for internal meetings as well as external, which really is bringing additional value to that license that you have purchased from Poly. Um, it's a massive competitive differentiator yeah. as well. You know, other like players that. don't don't offer that, so we always like that. <laughs> Absolutely, anytime we can differentiate is really key. Mm -hmm. And so I can bring in a vendor, a third party of, of any of any time. Exactly. That. Okay, great, yep. fantastic. Well, hey, let's have a look at sure. it. Sure. Thanks, Marty. When we're talking about SIP guest join, we're talking about the native ability to join into a Teams meeting that's outside of my organization. So in this case, what we're talking about is the ability to take a Teams meeting that I've received that does not have CBI information, doesn't have SIP information, and then forward that to an endpoint or to a room resource for an endpoint, and then use that to join into another Teams meeting, right? So let me go through the steps and show you what that looks like. So before this call, what I've done is I went ahead and I scheduled a non-CBI enabled Teams meeting. I took that invite and I sent it to the room resource associated to this Poly X70. So that once I'm ready to join the call, I can just walk into the room, I go up to my touch panel and I see I have a reservation for a SIP guest join call. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit join. And what you're going to see is that it's dialing out to a 250 plus character SIP URI, right? And this is bringing me Welcome to, to a lobby. Teams Please lobby. And your meeting host will admit you soon. As the IBR has said, because I am a guest, because this is not my organization's meeting, I need to be admitted into this, into this call. So as I do that... Once I'm admitted into this call, I can interact with everyone as though I'm a native Teams client, as though I am part of this meeting without uh, an, an endpoint. I am just a regular Teams participant. Now that I'm in this call, I can have all the same feature functionality as though, we're, as though I were invited for, for a standard CBI meeting. I can still see all the video participants. I can see all the audio participants. I can even send and receive content. So if I were to have my screen or have someone share their screen. So if someone were to share their screen in the call, it will then show up on the endpoint behind me, again, as though I were a native Teams client, right? So with capable of SIP guest join, I'm able to uh, utilize my uh, conference rooms, my investment, and use that into uh, non-CBI enabled Teams meetings and join into other organization team calls.